before tonight's match. Plebs, top, two from two, right? No beaches, two from two. Surfslayer, two from two. So far, Blame Alias have lost one. So, I mean, anything could happen here. Anything could still happen here. No Beaches has got a good chance against them. Sersler's might have a good chance against Plebs. But wait a minute, you never know. Blame Alias might get a win here against uh, against Plebs. And all of a sudden, Plebs have got a, a, a loss, you know? Right, let's get rid of this cam. Let's get into it. What have we got here defensive-wise? Let's see what Seekers has. <laughs> SX Kiss. <laughs> Love yous. Um, <laughs> short swords, we've got short bows, some, a lot of pikes on the attack side here from Blame Alias. Oh, so many Reapers and Palace Guards like up there. There's also some IPGs, you got support Brasho, Habadir Sargents as well, um, Armour Girl Lancers, um, and then some woodcutters for pushing the siege. And on the defensive side, they've got Greyhairs, uh, IPG, ISGs, sorry, Javelins, you've got uh, some Tertios. Modal, Iron Reaper, Cyclean Militia, some some Cav as well, Claymores as well. I'm actually surprised. That's, is that the Banner Guard, that one? That's the Banner Guard, isn't it? Kicker Temple Shot. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Plebs versus Blame Alias. Hey, dipshit. Why are you not streaming my fight, dipshit? What do you mean? What do you mean, trusty? It ain't my fault. Let's get the music out of there. We are ready to get underway here. This is Blame Alias. Let's make sure runes are all off because we know what these boys could be like. Everybody doesn't have runes on. We are good. We jump out here. We get review and we sort ourselves out. There we go. We'll watch SX Kicks. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it now. You know, you told me not to, right? You know you told me not to say it and say his real name. I don't do his real name. Tell me if the baguettes are starting. Mate, mate, the baguettes are starting. Ah, they've not started yet. Not started yet. Don't you worry. They will be starting very, very soon, though. But it should have been started by now because it's some time. But it probably has started. But uh, there's a delay on the stream. So I assume if you go to the stream now, it will be about to start. Okay, so they've opened the gate. The gateways are sitting open here. We've got some people carrying people into their units of medals here. And Matix is the first to die. Kicker Boomin picks him up, carries him into his unit, and he's dead. <laughs> a very good pick and grab. A very good snipe off the start, you know, just pick off the heroes. They're using the javelins. Yo, Scary Hen, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan. Just like what, uh, the last match we watched there with 3RK, they were doing the exact same thing. Javelins, using the javelins to take out the siege towers. That siege tower is already down, as you can see. This other siege tower here, they're trying to whittle it down as well. Units are trying to do as much pushing as possible. The tab left supply point, uh, tab left side is getting pushed. We'll probably make it. But we will see, we will see. Tap left. It's going to make it. There's nothing there to deal with it. That, that one's the most likely one to make it, but just because there isn't any artillery there that will do it quick enough, really. Um, this uh, center siege uh, tower will make it as well, by the way. So it doesn't look like it's getting enough damage. There's no javelins there to help it or to even whittle it down. So they've uh, they've gave up that, and they'll probably just give up the A point at this point. Plebs will just be like, yep, yeah, okay. That is us now. You guys are here. We can get out. We'll shut the gate and then we'll just uh, let you guys do what you have to do. They've stopped all units so they can't open the gate quick enough and long enough. So they're dealing damage here with their tertios and that's killing the unit so they can't push it. So if they take the unit off because the unit's dying, then they can't uh, they can't break the barricade. But you know, like that's the kind of uh, the kind of little plans that they have to do here. Heroes are trying to jump in the way. They're losing their horses, but they're also trying to stop them shutting the gate on them. Um, just in case they do that too, but for the most part, they're a clever, clever bunch. They're a clever bunch. They know what they're doing here. They're definitely dealing a lot of damage here. The the ranged units against uh, the units of pushing it, which is actually how would your sergeants pushing it now, in compared to the the serfs that were getting killed off pretty quickly. But for the most part, 
But they're just going to stand in front of the gateway, make sure they don't get some damage done to it. And, uh, yeah, they'll just try and push that as much as possible. But slowly but surely, it's getting stunned so hard that it's not even getting pushed. Kicker Dunkel picks up a brittle and rotten already. That unit's definitely doing some work. Yep, the Tertios, Senji Grenadiers, doing some work. It is just Senjis, isn't it? Senjis. It's just Senjis. Just Senjis doing, doing all that work. But they've not even managed to get the Siege Towers up, right? Both Siege Towers are up now, but they've not actually went up towards the towers. Or onto the walls yet, which is very, very surprising. I thought they went onto the walls now, gave it gave it in and now. But blame your race. A little bit slower to react to the walls and pushing up the walls. As they all rotate to the far tab left Siege Tower here. Now, what's going to happen here? Dunkel is coming out to span and check it. Vasectomy is checking. Boomin's checking as well. All coming out just to see what's going on. They know that they could take the unit out and destroy that unit so that now they can't take the the gate down whatsoever. As everybody pushes for the full tab left siege tower, we'll watch them in the background here and we'll get a different angle here. As we zoom in, Tomsky is just trying to survive. There is units all dead there that was there. But blame Elias. Get on the wall through tab left siege tower. They're starting to make their way towards A and the heroes of the plebs will start to come down and back down the stairs. Kicker Wheel is down. Thank you, gorgeous. Ooh. Ooh. Looks yummy, women. Kicker Javimo falls, he's dead, but so does Alex here. We're at 14 versus 13 here so far, fight wise. Number wise, unit wise, it's pretty even. Count wise, there's been a good amount of kills with units, but A will be getting taken now, and the opportunity is here now. This is where Blame Elias has to start thinking of what they're going to do next. The one thing though, the one thing that's interesting about it, is they're all coming back up that stage tower. They did th stop that, but they're going to have the to be able to open um, the outside gate anyway. Because it is up here, isn't it? So that opening is there. It is going to get taken. The heroes are starting to go away. But it is 14v14 on unit-wise. The Solidars are down at the bottom of the stairs with Iron Reapers. They've got the ISGs down there as well. Modals. And they're all going into the gateway. This is the hidden area where they're going to keep themselves protected. Blame Elias are moving from tab right to tab left here. Starting to move as a unit. Trying to see where they can get themselves into a op prime opportunity to attack from. They're swinging around all the way past the top left siege tower. And going down the far staircase here as well. It's just, just a ploy to get the guys of plebs to rotate as much as possible. You've got Kicker Ram, you're trying to be a pain outside there. Just capping the back supply point there beside Alex. Alex is having to be surviving as the, the short sword out there. And... Now the rotation has come in. There's, there is still units left at the normal area of the gateway, but they're starting to rotate to the bottom side uh, the tab left stairs. Unit after unit, one after the other, they're making their way around. The big push starts to come down the stairs now. That is Blame Elias making their way towards the guys that play at the bottom of the stairs. They will meet at the bottom of the stairs and we will zoom in a little bit here. Tomsky is trying to cap the supply point in the background. Well, that happens. Sea Kicks is trying to find him. Going to well, try and pick him off and stop him from capping that. As Blame Elias pushing pretty well. Killing a couple of heroes here in the push and doing so pretty well. We're pretty even for heroes and unit kills at this point in time. Blame this looks like they have a wee bit of an advantage here. Pushing their units still forward as ISG start to make the fight. But Kicker Dunko is dealing with all the Senjis in the back here. So is Mixu, but he's getting hit. He's get dealing a lot of damage. Biggie's going to have to try and stun him as much as possible. As a cap charge comes in from the plebs here right into the back of the units of Blame Elias. And now Blame Elias are down to seven heroes. There's still ten alive. For the uh, for the attacking side, uh, for the defensive side, sorry, but it looks like Seekers picks up Synetic here. Blame Tomsky is now dead, but there's a few people with Matic still trying to fight on that supply point there. Blood Story is trying to get out there alive, so is Biggie. But Alex making their way down, now they're going to go straight to B. B is an opportunity now, right? Everybody's rotated down there at the supply point. Are they going to go B or are they going to go to fly? Bravo goes off to top right. He's like, right, I'm going to go down centre, I'm going to crap the point. 
as they do that veggie coming in just being a nuisance as a moral so is the rest of the boys now going to the supply point trying to take the fight to the supply point as b gets capped A lot of fights going all over the place here at this point in time. You've got people still fighting on the wall. Blame Alias Sky is still up there. Just finished that kill. Coming down. Vasectomy goes on to the point. Gets his halberdier sergeant is on the point now to protect that. As Vasectomy and the rest of the boys from Plebs start to fight down the main alleyway. Like off to the supply point here. The fight is going to the supply point here. And Blame Alias are going one for one. You know why? We're so close in you know why strength. But it's been a solid fight here on the on the supply point. Supply starting to get capped here slowly. I mean it's back and forward. But there's plenty of cav coming in here. Mo Matt goes around the back there. That's a couple of kills there. But the attack have only got six available. But it's 6v9. It's quite a close fight now. They just need to wipe a couple more heroes here on the attack. Blame Elias might get a wee advantage. But Slice QD comes back in here. Unit you know, Monastics comes in. Does get a few few damages in there but so far so good for uh, Blame Elias it's definitely a good call fight here we're down to 10 heroes versus 8 you know why it's practically the exact same the fight on the supply point has been where this fight has been this whole time still stopping units coming in the only way they're getting the units is if they go back to the very back supply point here looks like the unit now difference is swinging in favour of the plebs and that's why the supply point is staying in control of plebs and not in control of blame alias. What a fight it's been. Quad kill here from Seekers. Dunk home. Just looking to pick off units as they come in. That is exactly what Dunko's trying to do. I'm just trying to do the exact same. A cav unit is coming around, is it? There is a cav unit. Sky and it's checking about. Table shot's gonna try and shoot Biggie here and try and stop him down, but there's only eight heroes left. Available at this moment in time here as a few of them try to escape with their life here. Blood Story is trying to survive as an Adachi, but it's picked up by Kicker to so. Um, all of a sudden, it's in favour of Plebs here. You know, wise, uh, we're pretty even, but 13 Trebs, so could go towards the home. Po like, I'm surprised nobody started trying capping B, B point, trying to confuse them up there. Amia, straight on that. As soon as he knows there's a hero somewhere on their own, I'm going to go and try and pick that kill. Amia gets no. Dismounted there, but he is getting his all off, and he is getting the kill here as well. So false, he's there from Temple Shot, who came in and helped. Army do after Army did all the work, you know. Army did all the work, Temple. I see you. Kicker Temple is going to uh, cap back the supply point if they can here, but the fight's getting put to the gateway now. Blame Elias starting to fight up on the top left hand side now. They're trying to build units up. But so far, this is going to be like one of the last pushes, the only really strong last push we've got here, potentiality, for the guys that blame Alias. Unit-wise, plenty of cav, we've got some javelins in there, uh, palace guards, Fort Abrasio. Um, it's going to be a tough one here now for them. It's a mixed bag of units here, but here comes in some cav now. They're all cav charging in, blame Alias, taking the fight here. Straight into the right-hand side supply point. They're straight on here in the fight, trying to do their work here. And so far, so good for Blame Alias. They're managing to get forward, make a way in here. But they're going to get pinched in the back here from Plebs, who have rotated from the gateway. IPG March is coming in. Fort Abrasio are moving behind them as well. Come and get position. Well, Javelins do their damage and start whittling them down. Hero-wise, it is in favour of the Plebs on the defence here. Blood Story is going to go fall to his death here. If he can't survive there or get out there, he falls. Mark. Escapes with his life, so the Synetic, he's just trying to stop that cap on the supply point so they can't get units out, but he might get picked off here as Amya starts to do his work. Seekix gets the kill, and so far they're all pushing a blame Elias out, we're at 1 minute 55 left, it looks like that is going to be the end of this battle. Plebs have pushed very well here, we still have double the money heroes alive, make that even more now. We have 11 heroes in their defense, 360, uh, 326 units versus 171 units in the attack. They've only managed to use three trebs so far, blame me, because they're not in a position to be trebbed yet. None of these fights have been in a trebable position, so they've really been in favor of the boys of plebs. What a fight that was. That 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 was interesting. For
That was uh, that was very good. There's a trap coming now as as the plebs start to push out. They know they have the unit advantage now. They know they have the advantage here with one minute left as well. Nobody's going to be able to cap it. Halberdier sergeants aren't even to be seen anymore. There's nobody even defending B really. One hero. But they're just fighting outside now. They're taking the fight to them. They're going to be able to use their traps. But it's already too late at this point in time. Vasectomy with a quad kill here. And now the boys of the kicker boys are just picking up all these kills now. That is it. Seven heroes alive now on the attack inside. 104 units and it's going to go to the 30th. This, this is going to go all the way down here. The plebs pick up their first win here. They're going to pick up their first win today against Blamelius and they're going to have to now find a strategy to attack with here. It's going to be interesting to see what plebs come up with here for their attack against Blamelius. Blamelius was a good effort. Different positions to be attacking from which we're not used to seeing. But also not giving yourself the use of traps, you know. You're not getting the use of them. Until now. And there we go. There's the no quarter for Tusu. Biggie falsies death. And that is the win for the plebs, boys. Well done, plebs. That was fantastic effort there. Quite close. It was quite close. There was a lot of good in uh, like initial fights as well. Bottom of that stairwell on the tab left hand side was a fantastic fight. It looked like it was pretty even for the most part, hero wise, unit wise as well. We were pretty close and even number wise. It wasn't like uh, players were outright killing heroes a lot quicker. Eventually, it started to get to that stage as the numbers and the units started to to do uh, to do their work. But um, yeah, DGU, uh, D DGU, Vu, sorry, gets the. The MVP uh, for the attacking side here for Blame Alias with two hero kills, 108 unit kills. Our biggest killer here was So and Bloodthirsty. So yeah, a pike and a, and a Dachi picking up the most kills here on the attacking side. On the defensive side, Vasectomy, look at this. Eight hero kills, 87 unit kills. He's your MVP of the game. Um, and actually gets more kills than Amien Seekers as well, which is uh, very interesting. That doesn't normally happen very often. But well done, Vasectomy, great work. Um, the boys did... Uh, work well together as a team you can see the difference here 28 uh, hero kills was the difference in this battle here unit wise pretty fucking even um even the engagements where all these engagements were they were pretty even at one point it was in favor you know like there was different parts where it got in favor for each team um overall plebs obviously came out on top for the most part they they were in a, they were in an ascendancy um they they had control over what they were doing they were rotating at the right times and they not getting